Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are here to talk about reducing mixed fractions to lowest terms. What you need for this exercise are a pen, piece of paper, and a calculator if you so need it. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can reduce these mixed fractions to lowest terms, and we'll talk about a couple of scenarios right about now. Now, for starters, if you're number is already that of a mixed fraction or a mixed number for that matter, here's how you would approach this. Now you have three, suppose you have three uh, and three sixths that you need to reduce. Now if it's already given to you in this particular form, you can actually leave the whole number alone and just try to reduce the three sixths. Now as you know, three sixths reduces to one over two because three goes into both three and six. So three and three sixths would simply be three and one half and that will be the end of it. Now, if you have an improper fraction given to you, let's just say 22 over 6, what you can do first is reduce this to lowest terms and then write it as a mixed number if necessary. Now, here you can see from 22 and 6, the largest number that will go into both figures is the number 2. So dividing both numbers by 2, 22 divided by 2 is 11, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. And what you want to do simply there is to convert it to a mixed number, you can do some simple long division. 3 going into 11. Now 3 goes into 11 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. Do the subtraction and remainder 2. Now you can do it a couple of ways, but the most convenient way is take the 2 as the remainder and then write it over the number that you see there. So that means 11 thirds can be written as 3 and 2 thirds. But either way, depending on the form, if it's an improper fraction or a mixed number, you can definitely reduce it to lowest terms. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you reduce mixed fractions into lowest terms.